And uh, again, that's a match that I watch back and I say, that's where Randy taught me to slow down. That's where Randy taught me to stop for a second. You know, funny enough in that match though, Randy had, he had me and cash right before that match. He had us teach him how to chop. He had never chopped before. So if you watch that match, you see Randy throwing left hand oh, chops. No. Oh, yeah. Great. We had to teach him how to chop and he was so proud of his chops that night. Uh, if you can watch, if you watch it back, you see him in cash kind of like giving a half ass smile or a half ass congratulatory, um, uh, scream to him because he was chopping. And it was actually making a sound. The New Day and you guys are starting to develop a little little chemistry in the ring. Mm -hmm. um, particularly, I noticed you and Xavier Woods. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys have these little interchanges in every match, and it seems like every time you guys add a little thing to it. Um, who, who was your favorite person to work in the ring with out of the New Day? Was it Xavier? Oh, my God, dude. Um, I mean, they're all so different. That's why they yeah, work, right? That, I, I don't think there's a favorite. They're all so different. Like, obviously, Kofi is uh, incredible. Well, they're all incredibly entertaining. Kofi is, and they're all incredibly athletic. My God, I can't. There is not a weak game in their. There's not a weak point in their fucking game. Now that I think about it, not not any of the three. They can all talk. They, they can, can all. all wrestle. They're all mm -hmm. smart. They're all great athletes. They can wrestle. They love wrestling. Uh, so there's not one that I choose over the other. That that match, especially me and uh, Xavier, did run a little bit, um, and we had some like uh, exchanges there that were great. But man, uh, all of those guys, all three of them, fucking hell, man! Now that you say that, and I think about it. They could be some of the, <laughs> uh, you know, you know. We talk about Bobby Heenan being able to do everything and being one of the greatest workers of all time because he could do something in every position. Yeah. These guys never, you know, they they've done. They actually, they have. They've done commentary and been great at it. So you know, maybe they're in that same league as Bobby Heenan. Man, that's crazy to think about. That we we lived in an era with the three of these guys i love this match this match is so good like you said it went 17 and some change um and at the time we didn't you know at the time even now uh a lot of the back end stuff is all these big huge false finishes right boom but bam one two kick one two kick one two kick i remember we called the match and we said you know what i don't think this match calls for a lot of false finishes i think if you watch it back there might have been one or two right. but there were not, there weren't very many big false finishes there was heat on the knee so we could get heat on ourselves us and randy and there was a big comeback at the end so the baby faces could get the um could get the adulation from the crowd that they needed and we got the crowd going and you know we had a couple of deals at the end but uh other than that man it was just a it was it was a great fun six man tag uh, that did the job of putting the heat on us, putting the sympathy on them, allowed them portray to them to portray their best friends, and they made the big save. Uh, it, you know that's beautiful wrestling to me.